So class, I beg to continue from where we had stopped at that time. Remember, our topic was the problems associated with laser today. And our first point at that time, we talked about uh, laser is killing creativity today. For example, we find that uh, people, instead of uh, participating in laser activity, they have now resorted to enjoying passive leisure where they just watch and instead of participating. So at the end of the day we are seeing many people's talents failing to come out because of a passive type of leisure. So another point we said that leisure has led to man's invasion of God in that People use worshiping time for leisure instead of praising God. And there we are knowing God, by the way. So please, I encourage you to make sure that we should use our leisure time. If it is time for prayer, we should pray. We should avoid invading God during leisure. When we talk about invasion, it means running away from God. So please, we are supposed to pray. My concern is with our parents at home. But instead, today, because of this COVID, people, instead of praying in their homes, maybe through the TV, they are instead watching, let's say, going for betting, and that is invasion of God. Today, leisure is basically commercialized in a way that many leisure activities have remained for the rich as the poor may fail to afford them. For example, football, boxing, athletics, drama among others. So today, leisure has turned to become commercial. People have now, leisure involves money. If you lack money, you will not watch a leisure activity. To go to watch, like when Uganda is playing football at Uganda at Nambol, you have to enter with money. Therefore, people only with money are the ones who enjoy such less activity. Those who lack the money, they don't enjoy such less activity. Therefore, leisure has turned to become comma, commercial today. Today, most people engage in leisure activity. I mean, in leisure activities that undermine their indigenous, indigenous culture. For example, night clubbing, films as opposed to African dances. People now are enjoying nude dances. Look at the videos you are watching today. The dressing people are putting on pipes. The short trousers, the, the, the short dresses. They are all undermining our cultures. We are supposed to be decent according to our African setting. We are supposed to put on long dresses. However, people nowadays enjoy short dresses. People enjoy putting on things that exposes other parts of the body. And that is undermining our culture. Therefore, learners, I want to encourage you to avoid undermining your culture because our culture is our pride. So I encourage you please to make sure that the leisure we should we enjoy should avoid undermining our culture. Another point is that today there is a limited variety of leisure activities that younger people enjoy. They therefore get bored very fast, thus becoming idle. For example, now today, many places like casinos are very few. So, you find that in other villages, you find people playing matter to every day, in the morning matter, to, afternoon matter. To. So that's why others are now idle, because they get bored after some time. So, the lack of a variety of leisure activity is just another 
problem that is associated with leisure today. Some leisure activities are dangerous to human health, for example smoking, which leads to diseases such as lung cancer, which eventually leads to death. So please, younger people, some, find them smoking during leisure time. Smoking chibaba, marijuana, taking mira, others are nowadays smoking weed skayongo, others are even taking people's gray hair. So such leisure activities are really dangerous to your health. So please, class, I encourage you to avoid that because with the time, the outcome will be diseases like lung cancer, TB, and remember these are non-natural that may lead to death. So please, it's another problem associated with the laser today. Some laser activities today have increased crime rates in society. For example, watching and reading pornographic materials leading to immorality such as rape, homosexuality, among others. Like the movies you people you are watching today. Some people enjoy pornographic whereby they see people who are naked. So what is the effect of that? That's why today younger people know more about issues of sex. Because it makes them to feel to like demonstrating what they have been seeing. That's why today you fear you hear that people have been raped. Why? They see people putting on badly. Then at the same time they are also putting on badly and walking on the street. Others see people of the same sex sleeping together. Then they also want to demonstrate. At the end of the day, they end up performing what they call a homosexuality. So it is another problem because of the pornographic materials. For example, some medias like newspapers like Kamunye, they expose these people. So sometimes others would like to see and practice what they are seeing, something which is bad. Also today, people have lost skills and creativity due to getting involved in passive leisure such as listening to music, watching TV, among others. So there is nothing new that they are generating during their leisure time. Long ago, people during leisure time would make a maths. People would learn a skill like to play xylophone. People would do, would do, sometimes go for legend stories. This helped them to understand some skills, for example, musical skills, creative uh, art and craft, among others which is no longer the case with today. So because of passive leisure, there is nothing like creativity that people have involved in their time, especially when they are free. So there is lots of skills and creativity in our leisure time today. Leisure has increased laziness towards work, especially among the youth. Thus, increased poverty. Such leisure activities include sports betting, where people are living by chance. Mm -hmm. Because you can either win or you lose everything. So that is living by chance. Whether you spend their valuable time betting. <coughs> and in the end, they lose the little money they have. Leisure activity have increased the gap between the parents and children. This is especially true for children who escape 
from their parents and go for night clubs. Films without the consent of their parents. So really, that has also created a gap. Poverty is on the increase due to leisure time spending, among other factors, as too much time is spent enjoying leisure than working. So that's why today many people are becoming poor. It has resulted into neglect and failure to basic needs of life for family members. As much income is spent on leisure, some parents, instead of providing basic needs to their family, they are taking that money for drinking. Mm -hmm. They are taking the money for betting. So at the end of the day, they have even failed to provide basic needs to their family. And really that's a problem which is associated with leisure time today. So there is a little boredom in leisure due to over enjoying of the same type of leisure. For example, listening to music. watching movies among others so because of repeating something again and again and again and again so at the end of the day it has created a lot of boredom during leisure time so class with the above, we are able to tell that leisure has problems. Leisure time today has problems. Therefore, I encourage you to make sure that you can avoid such problems during leisure by making sure that you utilize your leisure time properly. So please, I encourage you to look at the principles that govern the good leisure and you put your leisure into the best use, then you will be able to enjoy your leisure time. So class, next time when we meet, we shall begin on the abuse of leisure today. When you talk about abuse, that is how people, instead of using leisure for the right thing, they have changed against the purpose of leisure. And instead, they use it for a wrongful purpose. That's what they call the abuse of leisure today. So, as I conclude still, while you, you are staying at home, please, I encourage you to continue with the following. Please, I encourage you to read your books. Have a personal timetable. Go through your work. We, are go we shall resume, but remember that when you overrest, you will forget everything. So please read to avoid forgetting. Remember to wash your hands after every short period of time. Remember to avoid the public places. Avoid moving in the night. Please get guidance from your parents and respect your elders. With that, I beg to end there and have a wonderful day. God bless you and nice day in your homes. Thank you so much for listening.